In this video, we will be covering trading hours. Trading hours define the days and time of day that an instrument is traded. For most instruments, the trading hours will be assigned automatically by MotiveWave. And when you create your workspace, MotiveWave will create a default set of trading hours. So let's take a look at the default set of trading hours set with this workspace. If we click on Configure, Preferences, and then Trading Hours, we'll see here a default set of trading hours. And the ones that are created by default will have true set under built-in. Now these cannot be modified, um, but you can create your own. So let's take a look at two of them here. Let's take a look first at NASDAQ. And the reason I want to take a look at NASDAQ is because if we take a look at Apple here, we can access its trading hours in two ways. The first way is we can right click on its chart, then click Edit Instrument, click Advanced tab, and then see what trading hours have been assigned by MotiveWave. Now from here we can always change from the pre-populated list. Another way of checking for your trading hours for a specific instrument is we click on Configure, then Instrument, and from the Manage Instruments panel we can type in the instrument, select it, click Edit, select Advanced, and from here you can then uh, view the selected trading hours or change from any in the list. Any custom trading hours that you do create will show in this list as well. Okay, so let's go back, configure preferences, let's take a look at NASDAQ, we go over down to trading hours, select NASDAQ, click edit. So here we have the name, this must be a unique name. We need to set a time zone for these hours, in this case we have New York. Here it's, we and in the exchange field, whatever exchange you put here, then this will become the default trading hours for any instrument assigned that exchange. So in the upper half here, we have regular hours. This would be the regular trading hours session. So from here we have uh, Monday through Friday enabled, starting at 9.30 a.m., ending at 4. And then we also have extended hours starting from 7 a.m., which covers a period up until 8 in the evening. And that too is from Monday to Friday. So what happens is we have the option, being that this has extended hours, if we right click on the chart, we have the option to view the extended data. So if we select it, the data on the chart will now reflect that extended period of time and the data will be reflected in the bars on the screen, on the chart. Let's go back. Let's go back to trading hours. Let me show you another one. This one's for futures, CME Equity. We'll click the Edit. Here you notice the name is CME Equity. This one, however, is based on the Chicago time zone. We do not have an exchange selected for this one. So here we have regular trading hours defined as uh, Monday to Friday from 8.30 to 3.15. We also have extended hours. Here you'll notice that it starts on the Monday, but it has a minus seven. That's minus 7 from 12 a.m. Monday morning. 7 hours from 12 a.m. Going backwards would be 5 o'clock or 5 p.m. on the Sunday. So the extended hours actually start on the Sunday evening at 5 o'clock and cover the period up until 3.15 3 in the afternoon. And on the right-hand side here, we have an optional, we can define a second session. So we do have a second session starting at 3.30, so there's a 15 minute break between 3.15 and 3.30, and then that ends at 4 o'clock, and then the session picks back up the Monday at 5 o'clock, as specified here by the minus 7, and then continues on for the rest of the week until Friday. Now you'll notice here that the extended hours Monday to Friday are enabled, but so is the second session enabled here as well. OK, so let's click OK. Now, to create our own hours, we can click on the plus sign. We put in our own My Hours. I'm just going to leave the defaults here. 
we've already went through all this. Okay, now we click extended hours. I want to set extended hours again, Monday to Friday here, Monday to Friday here. Now we also have something here that says week begins on Saturday. I believe there are a couple of exchanges in the world where the there is trading on Saturday and the week actually does begin on the Saturday. I believe Saudi Arabia is one of them and that's why we have this option here. So we click OK, we click Apply, and now my hours shows here and you'll notice that it's set as false. And being that it's false, I can always go back in here and make some changes. OK, and then if I wanted to assign that to a specific instrument, I can always click Edit Instrument, go over to Advanced, click on Trading Hours, and you'll see my hours listed right here. Okay, so that covers trading hours.